Here's Tyler throwing 53-6 last night um, compared with David Storl. Let's see how it goes. David Storl's up in his up-down glide. He's coming down. And there goes his left leg. Up, down. There goes the left leg. Okay. I think you're in good shape there. Let's see now. As we know, we want the left foot coming. Or see the, the right heel going. Boom. Down, up. Boom. Down, down, down. So it's hard to see. It's a little blurry picture of Storl, but we know how his heel goes, right? Down, up, down, up. The heel is clearly up there, and his eyes are down. His chest is, you know, facing us at this angle where the camera is filming from. And let's see here. Yeah. Your heel is up right there, okay? It's not bad. It's not bad. Your eyes are starting to turn. Your head's starting to turn toward the direction of the throw. But if you look, um, <clears throat> the angle of your... Here, like, let's clear this. Your knee is starting to drive out. His knee is starting to drive out pretty good. Your elbow's back. His elbow's back. Your left arm's long. Pretty long. His left arm's pretty long. That's not bad. That is not bad. You've got a little bit more weight on your front knee than he does, okay? So he's staying back a little bit better. He's keeping a little bit more of his weight back. He's keeping his eyes down and back a little bit better than you are, okay? Let's see what happens. His heel's up. Boom. Your heel's up. Boom. Okay. That's a good throw. Um, what's going to get you more distance is keeping those eyes back and that chest back just a beat longer, okay? Eyes back, chest back, weight back. Heel comes up and boom, out and around with that knee and hip. We're landing, and your, your eyes are going with your left arm, okay? If we can keep them back, keep them back, keep that right elbow back a little bit, and blammo with that right knee and hip. That's going to add significant distance to that throw.